Hi everybody, Liz and Annie back again to give you some more Canvas tips and tricks um, as UCR makes its slow transition uh, into a fully Canvas-based campus. So in previous videos, we've talked about... <laughs> We have a distracted cat in the background. In previous videos, um, we've talked about creating assignments and pages and putting them into modules that are nicely organized for your students to find. And we previously mentioned this really important concept with Canvas known as publishing. So with everything that you create within this LMS, you need to make sure that it is published so that students are able to see and access it because you can you can make things behind the, th the scenes and leave them unpublished um, to kind of hide them until you're ready for students to see them. Um, but you wanna make sure that they are published uh, when you need them for students to access them. So to show you um, how you check on publishing and this uh, important concept of multiple different levels of publishing within Canvas, I've gone into a course that I taught this fall um, that's populated with, um, with files. So this is my module section of one of my courses and I'm in my lecture slide PDF module that has all of the lecture slides for the whole quarter uploaded in here. And you can see that for every lecture slide, there's this little green um, circle uh, check mark right here that when I hover over it, it says published. So you can see that this assignment has been published for students to see. Um, you might also notice that that same symbol is up at the top of lecture slide PDFs, this entire module. And so if I click this, and unpublish it, now it turns into this grayed out, you know, circle slash symbol. Now everything within that module is hidden from students, even though each individual set of lecture slides is published. They will not be able to see these, they will not be able to access these. So you have to be very careful about publishing at multiple different levels within Canvas, otherwise things might be hidden that you thought were published and that are published, just not at the higher tier of organization. Um, so make sure that your module is published. Oh, having a, a meeting soon. Make sure your module is published and all of your lecture slides are published as well, or all of your files are published. Um, if you wanna uh, pull it back from being published, you can click on that publishing icon for the file and then you get a bunch of different options here that are um, more specific to files and assignments than just the publish or unpublish of the entire module. So you can see you have the unpublish option here, but you can also um, set things up so that students can only see them with a link. So they're hidden on the course page, but you can send them a link to access it, kind of like a backstage pass to your assignment if you don't want lots of people to see it. Um, and you can also set up when you want these assignments to be available with schedule student availability. So if you want an assignment open for just a week, you can do that uh, here within this menu. One other thing I want you to know about, um, about publishing is with assignments, this multiple tiered publishing thing comes into play even more. Um, so I've scrolled down to a module where I have all of my assignments for this particular class available here. You can see the module is published, each of the assignments are published, but if you go into the individual assignment itself, there's also an option to publish or unpublish that assignment in particular within that, that assignment that you've created. And if that is set to unpublish, then even if you have the module published, the link to the assignment published, both of those good to go, if the assignment itself is unpublished, they will not be able to access it or see it. So for assignments, there are three levels of publishing that you need to keep in mind. Um, this, this publishing concept uh, takes a lot of work and practice and Liz and I have done it a bunch now and still mess it up occasionally. So just be prepared for uh, emails from students about not being able to access something and it's probably because you've disabled publication at you know one of these layers. Um, so just keep that in mind and I see Liz has some supplementary info. I have a question. Yes. Uh, one way as the instructor, is it possible to check that you've enabled everything, published everything at the right levels by looking at the student view of your Canvas site? Oh yes, you can absolutely do that. So let me go back out to the modules. So back to the module page. Um, to do this, you need to, I believe, you need to go to your home page, and then you have an option, a menu of options here on the right hand side. Um, and you see this fifth button down, student view. You can click on that student view, um, just like we had in Blackboard before. And now you get to see what is available to students. So you can go down here and see that, you know, my lecture slide module is available with all of the lecture slides, nothing is hidden. 
Um, and same thing uh, with the, oh, here they are, with the assignments that I showed earlier. Um, and if I leave student view, I can do some, some changing to the publications here. So I can show you, right, if I now unpublish this lecture slide module uh, and go into student view, um, now the lecture slide module, which was right here, is completely gone. Now it's just lecture videos. So even though all of them are published, right, the overarching module is not, and so everything is hidden. So you can double check, kind of move back and forth between these views to make sure things are as you want them to be. <laughs> Good question, Liz, thank you. All right, I think that's it for this video. Is there anything else I missed that we need to cover? All right, otherwise, we will be back with more tips and tricks uh, soon. Bye, everybody.